I come from the fashion industry, so I will speak about the sure. idea of women leadership in the fashion industry, right? right. Um, we keep talking about patriarchy as being something that is driven by bigoted male energy or the masculine energy. But let me tell you, patriarchy is in the minds of women a lot. Women can get really patriarchal in, especially in, in, in the field that I've been working in. And I've seen that women are women's worst enemies. So more than asking men to uplift women, women are already there to uplift themselves. Women need to help women uplift themselves. Um, so I, I, and, and, you know, and, and in fashion, you can well imagine it's an industry that caters to women. The majority of the clothes and the bags and the shoes that are being made are for women, yes. but mostly it's run by men. So it's a double edge. It's, it's, a, it's a double whammy. We have pretty True. much screwed from both ends. Sure. On the one hand, all the businessmen, all the executives in fashion, top management are men. Yes. The ones we have to work with are women. Yes. So we struggle with the patriarchal system with the men, but we struggle with the patriarchy in women's brains amongst each other. So, so I find that debil debilitating. So how do you think women leaders can ensure that they lift other women in this kind of a high tension work environment? Because of they're so competitive, like you right. By not pretending to be like a man. Nice. Every woman leader that like, at least in, in my experience, women leaders always emulating the men mm -hmm. and that's it's it's, it's a self it defeats the purpose we are empathetic human beings the difference between male leadership for me and a female leadership is that man can sympathize a woman can empathize we know how to get into someone's shoes if you're a mother if you're pregnant if you're juggling seven thousand things i get it i can empathize i don't ex i don't think i can say the same about the men so Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I can go on and on, please.